Okay, class, today we'll be talking about sociological psychology. But first, uh, we have a new student. His name is Jose Zapata. Ah, there he is. Um, Zapata, I mean, Jose is from... I'm from San Francisco. Where are you really from? Colombia. Colombia? Right, so you're Colombian. American. Right, okay, uh, please have a seat. Okay, so the first thing to remember about sociological psychology is that it is both psychological and social. In fact, I've never actually studied psychology, but I can tell you it's a very interesting subject. It involves a lot of... College, the thrill ride of liberation, privilege, and ramen noodles. Anyone and everyone thrives for a perfect college experience of opportunity, excitement, and success. Thanks to the media, college looks like the easiest four years of your life. Turns out, it's easy for only one day. Alright class, find a partner for today's pop quiz. Make sure both your names are on the paper or you won't get credit. Franklin, Boyd Franklin, and Kelly discuss how victims of microaggressions express a sense of being invisible. They may feel their characteristics and identities are not acknowledged when they are seen only as fitting preconceived stereotypes or as being extraordinary exceptions to stereotypes. Invisibility and feeling invalidated may have deleterious effects on self-esteem. Hey Kai, are these yours? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you are so white. I've never met another black person like that. What do you mean? I don't know. You just don't act like the rest of them, you know? The rest of them? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. You know, when I look at you, I don't see color. Uh, it's really a compliment. It's, I'm just saying you're really smart and well-spoken and stuff. It, it's a compliment. Right. Thanks. This concept has often been referred to as stereotype threat or a situational threat, a threat in the air that in general form can affect the members of any group about whom a negative stereotype exists. For example, when African American male college students are negatively stereotyped as intellectually inferior or criminally deviant, they may feel a sense of isolation on their college campuses, which may then negatively influence their ability to perform well academically. You know, I'm, I'm thinking about studying abroad this semester. Has anyone ever been to Thailand before? I'm from Thailand. No way! How long did you live there? Until I was 15. Oh, wow, that's crazy. You don't, like, have an accent at all. Well, not all of us. Oh, you know, my sister's friend from middle school, her name was uh, Tola. She was from Thailand. Her name was Tola. You know Tola? You know who that is? She's from Thailand, too. You think I know Tola because we're both from Thailand? Yeah. No, I don't know Tola. Oh, okay. Hey guys! Guys. Maya, your hair looks so wild. Don't. Don't touch my hair. Okay. Well, yeah, I can't go out tonight. I have to, like, study. Gay. So gay. How was that gay? The development of a person's self-concept is not merely an individual process, but it is also a social process where a person internalizes a self-concept that reflects the view that important others have of the person. So if the person thinks that others may view him or her as an inferior, a criminal, a foreigner, or any other stereotype, it's possible that he or she may internalize these impressions, which may then negatively influence his or her sense of self.
professor. Do you remember me from your 10 o'clock class? I believe I do. Great. Well, the reason I'm here is because I'd like you to write me a recommendation letter for the university's honor program. Well, it's true. You're doing extremely well in my class, to my surprise. But I believe that only the most qualified students should be in the honors program. I don't think it would be fair for me to put you in an environment where you won't be able to stay on par with the other students. It's also unfair to the more qualified students. What do you mean? I'm on the dean's list. I've been on the dean's list for the past two years. My GPA is a 4.0. I've kept up with all my assignments, even throughout all the extracurricular programs I'm a part of. Well, you see, the thing is, you see, the honors program just doesn't need people like you. Microaggressions occur on college campuses, resulting in students of color to feel distressed, which may have an impact on their academics and physical health. Some authors describe microaggressions experienced by people of color attending predominantly white institutions, which can be especially isolating for individuals who are away from their families and other support systems. I too am a bulldog. 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 I too am a bulldog.